So over the last couple of years, the Yorkshire Dales National Park through the wildlife team has been involved in a wildlife project um, collaborating with the North and East Yorkshire Data Centre looking after wax caps. And this project involved putting on a number of training sessions aimed at all levels from kind of beginner through to um, more experienced surveyors. So that's looking at helping train up kind of citizen science surveyors to go out and look for some of these wax cap rich grasslands. And then in addition to that, we arranged for some surveys of sites where we suspected there might be wax cap rich grasslands, some of which were identified through the wax cap app um, and wax cap watch. It's nice and straightforward. It's aimed at people that might not have specialist knowledge of these species. All you need to do is kind of have an idea of what a wax cap looks like, but not be able to identify it to species level. The app asks you what colours they are. So that's something that's really um, easy and quite accessible for a range of people to use. So we think that this landscape could be a really important area for wax cap rich grasslands. Um, wax caps thrive in permanent pasture that's unfertilised grassland and has a short sward. So grazing can have a key role in that, whether that's with, with cattle or with sheep, it, it's having that short sward that allows the wax caps to come up in, in the autumn and thrive. And so the, the farming history of the Yorkshire Dales National Park um, means that we have an abundance of that type of habitat across this landscape. But really we want to understand more about this special habitat um, and the wax cap species that we find in these habitats, um, particularly because the habitats that you can find wax caps in can often appear relatively botanically uninteresting at other times of the year. So they might be less species rich, say in the summer, um, and they could get overlooked. Um, and particularly when it comes to things like tree planting, where we might be altering that habitat, we want to have a good idea of where these um, already wax cap rich habitats are so that we can protect them. But looking forward, it's all about kind of spreading the word and, and raising knowledge of these habitats so that we can use people in the landscape whether that's members of the public or, or farmers and landowners to help us identify where these habitats might be.